Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there.
Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Oh my god, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class, and I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great.
just realized I had my mic off this entire time. That's awkward. Well, I had a lot of commentary, and by a lot, I mean I had basic amounts, but you know what? We'll just restart this. Hi, I'm Aces. Um, this is my first time playing through and also my first stream, as you can tell since, you know, I had my sound off the entire time for how long? 20 minutes. That's awkward. Um, yeah, so we'll get, we'll just read this book again. The teen years are fraught with charge of all tape. Wow, now I'm fucking up. Are fraught with change of all types, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, but these changes don't just affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you have yet to face since having children. This book holds insights into your teen's behavior from the very beginning as he, she, or he, just say they, first enters adolescence, ad, ad, adolescence. Up through the end, year, end of the teen years as they enter young adulthood. Practical strategies here are based upon well-tested principles of pediatric psychology presented by Dr. Elisa Medina, herself a mother of two teenagers, prepared to gain new tools for establishing a productive, healthy, loving dialogue with a stranger under a roof. Yeah, just, just treat your kids like people. It's not that hard. Bye. Ooh, what's this? Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting t the last few months. Frankly, they've been becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it. Not mine to cut it, cut back to it. Even when it, then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater, Fainicato want to hear about quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations of your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd be cutting you loose. There's a ton of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use, but David's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one last shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff again and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everyone will be happy. Brent Kurtward, Reviews Editor and Home Theater Officiato Magazine. Okay. Ooh. Okay, 0451. Okay. I will try to remember that. I'm hoping it's to this. Otherwise, I guess I'll just cry a lot. Okay. 0. Nope. 4. Five, one. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, come back! Okay, read this. Dear Mr. Mason, please find enclosed in your original document a type copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filled at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Okay. Oh, no. Um, possessing full competence of mind, memory, and full survey of value items to my name. I do declare this document to be my last will. Oh my god, this is going to be so boring. Let's just do the flip notes. Um, I declare lifelong residence, um, blah blah blah, no children, not married, declare that I have no outstanding na doubts, um, bequeath item of value, um... So give that shit to Terrence, my dad. I'm not fucking reading that again. No, I can't read that. That is too long. Oh, crap book. Wait, is that the one I threw earlier? Oh, nope. It's a JFK theory book. Interesting, interesting. Is that actually a thing? I kind of want to know. But, goodbye! I hope I don't get murdered in this house. Is, like, is there a possibility of getting- Well, I don't like that. Ooh! Ooh! Hate that. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Turn that on. 
grab this set. is a severe weather Girl warning. Scout. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following I don't like that sound. Austin County, Boone County, Okay, Don see his crutch. Tacoma County, and with Oh, Florida I don't County. like that voice. That voice Residents is kind of scary. Can I unplug this? Indoors. Can I unplug this? I hate the sound. Flood conditions are expected at fine. lower elevation. I won't. It's fine. We're gonna put this in here. Oh yeah, that's way better. Terry, hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything, but now, now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Officiato has too much review work to do to go around, and he's naturally good for another answer. Oh, shit. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in the cast letter, the last letter, how much of a pain it is to trying to find a publisher for your latest work. of the world. Samantha Greenberg, grade 2. Story of the Turtle People, part 1. Ooh! Captain... Al... I've never heard this name this pronounced out loud. We're gonna butcher it. Alidra. Alidra. Alidra? Yeah. Looked at the ocean. Off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge, and she would get the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled. I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came. Is it like Jack Black? I want it to be Jack Black. I want you to know this. He came out on the deck of the black ship and he yelled to Captain Algera. Algera. You're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise. And your father were a liar. Oh, that's a mood. Captain Aldria yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled back, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Aldria's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Honestly, grade two, Samantha has better writing than me. Currently. My writing is so messy. Ooh. I live in here now. Okay. This mm, is a what's severe that? weather warning. Eh. The Northwest Sam, weather I thought this might help. Making friends. Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. Austin Never worry about having Boone friends County. to spend time with. This Dawn book will County. teach you to make friends Dakota even County. when you're shy. I could Dario. use this. You know that feeling? Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them? and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her, till I noticed she and her friends her? hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Is it her? I mean, yeah, I can definitely think of a couple of girls I've had situations like that for. We did end up being coming friends. Blood conditions but are expected at lower elevation. Yeah. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Is this TV listings? I have never seen a paper TV listings. Like, I know that's a thing, but... What? Oh, it's a little... What is that? The clover? I'm not... 
Sure. Yeet. This is a severe weather Dang. warning. Give me the drawer. The Northwest Weather Service reports uh, there's high dick in there. potential rain conditions affecting Ooh, the following hello. counties. Goodbye. Austin I want that. County, Ticket. County, Dawn Show County, place of Oregon. Tacoma County. Pulp Fiction. I don't County. know what that is. I know it's Residents a movie I've never seen. Urged to stay indoors and secure Everything was basically cold. witchcraft in my, in my family. Hawkins and Pulpy guys. Yeah, that would be classified as witchcraft in my case. E. Open sesame. E. Open sesame. What is that? Ooh! Bratmobile? Is that a thing or is that for this? I kinda like it. I wanna put it on. Can I put it on? This is a severe weather I'll just set you right here. The there you go. Weather service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions. Okay, so I'm probably county. gonna have to find a VHS Austin and put it in county. there later, I'm Dawn assuming. County. The pizza. County. And Ooh, Pizaria why don't you just throw out the pizza? That's Residents disgusting. All Read the letter. Doors. Hi, Terry. Um, oh, that's that thingy. It's a CD slash VHS or whatever the fuck I was reading earlier. Granted, I don't remember if that actually caught. <gasps> okay. Okay. I can't. S can I light things? Can I light things? Nope. Okay. Ooh. But this is a severe weather I am capable. Of admiring art. Look at me, I am fine art carnosura. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Hello, plant. I want to name you Fern because I'm unoriginal. Grab a bunch of coupons. 25 cents? Hell yeah. Um, tortilla chips. Wait, is there anything on the back? Boop. Pamphlet. Oh, this is for my mom, because she works in the forest department. Or whatever. Okay, okay. Where's the light? Where, there it is. Okay. <gasps> it was like that. Eh. What's that? Is there anything good in here? No. We have a lot of books. Like, so many. Those records or magazines. Also, that doesn't look very safe. I feel like... Maybe it is. I mean, it's safer than just having it out, I guess. Oh. Read assignment. Reproductive system. I, I'm gonna be honest, I dropped out of bio because I hated bio. Okay, right? There are two stories, right? Of reproductive events are all out of order, get a sheet of paper, write reproductive system number six at the top, then choose one of the two stories, rewrite it, begin with the title. The title is, is, so is this a writing class or a health class? Cause like, I don't think normally they have people do stories for health class, but okay. The early morning of September 1st, 1937, Ezra Gates, we're gonna go with no Glates, stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Wingla in Poland. As the train rumbles along, the sun rises over the countryside. She can only think of her dear Borislav, the boy she's engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. Okay. Essa's train approaches its destination. Her heart races. The writing of her uterus is getting thick. And what? What? Okay. Steps off the train. Her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in his baker smock, drop over the wheezy. Okay. Her heart's. I'm skipping. I should not be skipping. I want to skip this so much, but I'm not going to. I'm going to remain strong. He must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. Her... What? What? Nope, I'm not reading that. Over the wheezing of her, the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station. A whistling sound. 
Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bombs, reach out towards her dear bo Boris. Across the crowd, their eyes lock, and at the moment freezes. The and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. <laughs> All I, first thing I see is CV. So. In the assault by the German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. Jesus. The rest, including Essa and her at time Borislav, huddle in a half destroyed church. He is blind, his legs are missing, bandaged with torn bed sheets. Okay. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of. Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Anu no. It's incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ugh. Can't. Bye. Um, textbook. World history. Dude, that looks like my social studies textbook in like grade eight. Off it goes, twirly twirly. Bye bye. All textbooks belong in the garbage. At least this one. Cause generally they're not even right. Ooh. <laughs> Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you, unfortunately, Mercury Books will be unable to publish a follow-up to the accidental pariah. Despite the low sales of the accidental savior, we went ahead with the publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have been lower than the those of the first. Since our stewardship of the series it's been a pleasure working with you as a publisher. We wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavors. Okay, so my dad keeps trying to do books, and he's fucking up. So he's a heavy drinker. I left my trunk in town. Okay, okay. I like this one better than the shit butt. Okay, what's in here? Another closet. How many fucking closets do closets have? Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having... Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape, and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyways. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to her uh, house to visit any time. Mary Schultz. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. Wait, am I Samantha? I don't remember my name. You know what? We're gonna go back to the entrance, and we're gonna. This is not the way. To is this the way to the entrance? No, this is because we passed the plant. No, 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 because we came from there. We passed the plant, friend. Goodbye, Fernie. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Press two. Ooh. Okay. So we're going to just stay on the first floor for now. Let's look at my luggage and see if I can get my name from it, because I forget. It's Caitlin. Okay, so my name's Caitlin. My sister's name is Samantha. Okay. And I keep forgetting this is not Minecraft. I can't run like that. Off we go. So I'm, have, I'm hoping this isn't going where I think it does. 
because so far it looks like Samantha doesn't want to hang out with What's-His-Face because he's a major creep and everyone's like, no, it's fine! Or they keep- Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing, Sam. Okay. Okay. So, I'm having a feeling that- Hi Lonnie, if you want to get out to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive, but it's kind of far. I I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can hang out in the parking lot after 6. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. Okay. So, she has a friend. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but... All that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Controlled burn. Scheduled for boom country. Okay, so in addition to removing overgrowth vegetation that can lead to what social conservative. Okay, so they just highlighted it because it has her mom's name. That's what I'm getting out of that. You know what? Fair. I do that too. Eh. Well, not if I had stuff that had my name on it. I don't though. Okay. Oh. Calm. It's got pretty colors! Yay! Goodbye, pattern print. Pattern print. Jesus. Couples. Only. Cooking class. Take apron. Cook the big... Okay, that is too many words. Why can't people just... Ooh. How is this temporary personnel transfer? To aid in the prescribed burn operation, a ranger is... Let's pretend. Da, 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 da. So, is charged with the supervision of transfer personnel. Okay, so mom's in charge of transfer personnel. That's what it looks like. Turn on the lights so it's less spoopy. Open, open. Ooh, cassette tape. I'm gonna go take that down here to the TV room. Is that the TV room still? No, that's the bathroom. What's it say? Bratmobiles. Potty mouth. Okay. There you go. It's oh. weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Very psycho gay. house tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. Aww, that's cute. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing Wait. it since. Cassette tape is... Oh, wait, cassette tape. It's a cassette tape, not VHS, right? Okay. So... Hmm. I know my luggage says Katie, but like... Am I... For Sam. Okay, so I am playing as Sam. By the looks of it. I am very hungry, apparently. This is a severe weather uh, go. The Northwest Weather Service Wait. High winds oh, it doesn't have a cassette in it. The county, I should probably go make some food. I have not eaten yet today, and that's kind of my own dumb fault. I need to go grocery shopping. Oh, well. Grocery shopping is a problem for later me. 
I'm assuming this is one of the... Is my room? What's this? Okay, that looks like that goes with that cassette. We're gonna put, wait, maybe there's a player in here. Is there a CD? Yep, there is. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you too, cool, come on. keep lockers in their room. I feel like that's... I haven't had that much to drink, Jody Foster. How many fingers am I holding up? You better not have been reading my secret diary again. Uh, here you go, Mitten. Some pate. Gross. Yeah, I like the cat. But come back! Yay! <laughs> you get to be my friend. Oh, I don't want to set Staggy down. Okay, we're taking you with me, though. You're my best friend. I love you. Hi, <sighs> Seggy, for a sec. Okay, okay. Ugly binder. Book. Holy Bible. Man, I used to have one of those, and then I got rid of it. Got your nut. Oh, is that... Yeah, that's a real game, isn't it? Sounds a little bit... Uh, oh, she rewrote her book on the one downstairs. That's cute. Although I really don't want to read it. I'm sorry, but... Ooh. But. Hi, Longy. I wrote this in the first period and left it in your locker on the way to the second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. <laughs> but we're way cooler than them, because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. Your drawing of, a cat of cats was so good that I added it a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing, though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like, it's his secret shame. Also, hi like, his secret shame is he watches nine... What's that say? Is that that's numbers, right? Ninety? No. You know what? I don't know what that is. Ninety. Tw 
Oh, no, it's down here. 90210. Religiously. I don't know what that is. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also he's never watched uh, 902100. But I could see in his eyes he was lying. Okay? I, I don't know. I still don't know what that is, but it's fine. Okay. Staggy, you can stay here. I love you. Okay. Open this door. Oh, we're gonna take Staggy. Staggy! Staggy is my best friend! We'll set Staggy down, and we'll turn on the lights, and then we'll pick it back up, and... Ooh, it's... Is it my room? Or is... No. <sighs> I'm getting a little confused on the narrative. Who's who? I'm... I might be a fool, but... Ooh, business card. Unknown dimensions literature. Is this for my dad? I feel like this is... <gasps> okay, no one's here. Grab postcard. Dear mom... Okay, so this is from Katie. I'm in the chan- I'm in the channel. Chanel. This is my second passage through the Chanel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the Chanel. London was great, Dad. I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love y'all, Katie. Okay. Grab mom's spare purse. Your purse is ugly. Ugh. Granted, I don't really like green. Okay, where's Staggy? Staggy! <gasps> Staggy! We're putting you up here so I can explore. Because eh. I'm a nasty person who apparently goes through people's drawers. I hope I don't find anything unpleasant. Eh. Open. Jeans. Nope. Nope. Staggy! Okay, Staggy, you live there. Au moi. Dude, does nobody have TVs or, like, not TVs? They all have TVs. But does no one have, like, boxes? They just have their component cable out. Did... Sam, okay, I know it's Sam that said she was going ugh, she was going out, so did she like take everything or did I take everything because I'm Sam? I don't know. I'm I don't think I'm being and granted part of my problem is probably because I'm talking, but dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had 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 our own down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get wed to each other. You live your own lives in the same house. The kids you gr the kids grow up. They go away. I'm sorry. This isn't helping, is it? Don't worry. Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled... Controlled... Controlled burn? I feel like that's what that says. That sounds like... Quite the adventure. But let's cut to the chase. This new... This new manager? Okay. I know. This new... Hmm. They sent... That's what I want to hear about. Oh, Ranger. Ranger Rick. You have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Cherry is out of his slump. And in the meantime, write some letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Heart Carol. Okay. Oh, I hate that sound. Come here, Staggy. I'm scared. Wait, Staggy, stay here for a sec while I open this door. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn on the lights and then grab you. Okay, toothpaste. Okay, I can't open any of that crap. Uh, I don't want any of that. Ooh, scary. Boop, da -doop. Uh, what is that? <gasps> After the honey. Oh, ew. Nope, don't care. I waste all the water. But then I stop because water costs money and it's a limited resource. There we go. Come on, Steggy. We're going to have fun. And the. Ugh. Ugly. Bye. Into the. <gasps> yeah! Made into the trash! Okay, what's this? Watercolor techniques? I'm gonna be honest, I'm not big on watercolor. Like, it's other people who do it, it's nice, but personally doing it, I mean. Ghost game. <gasps> Escape from Ghost Mansion. <gasps> Wait, shit. No! Don't turn! No! Okay. Turn. The brothers. The cowboy. The widow. I would like to play with the cowboy. He looks like fun. Look at his tiny little gun! There you go, cowboy. Oh. I wasn't gonna put it back. I was gonna toss it. Fine. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Come in, Steve! Da da da. Adventure! Adventure! Um, okay, so I came from there slash there I'm gonna finish this hallway off because that looks like a door Ooh, sorry Steggy hey Sam do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum it came out last week and Todd won't shut up about it so either it's good and we can make fun of or we can make fun of him for liking it my mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change but I can just ditch out on it, probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? Oh, shit. One second, my laptop is about to die. That's what I'm using to do my stream manager. Boop, 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 boop. Plug that shit in. Don't die on me. Eh. Eh. There we go. Okay. According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Irma, Irma Thurman, I don't know who that is, gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. So that's kind of hilarious. Okay, you got an interesting idea of what hilarious is, but you know what? You do you. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't barf. Haha, <laughs> alright, see ya. Where's Steggy? <gasps> there he is. Okay, Steggy. 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 Steggy goes on the counter because we're not putting him on the floor in the bathroom. That's gross. No! Do I have to get like WD-40 in there or something? Eh. No, I want to open it. Fine. Oh. Um... Oh. Oh. That's just rude. Jesus. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. That's when she said, You're so beautiful. Aww, and she was looking at me. So cute. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment Aww. was gone. No! Katie, Mom and Dad are going to make up a guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you can come home on such. But you came home on such short notice that we weren't around for you to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam. Wait, I picked I need that. 
Okay, so this is the guest room, so that's Sam's room over there. But we're hearing the thoughts of Sam, unless I'm telepathic and I'm just like hearing her thoughts from back then. Sighting. August 31st, 1994. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? No, I was not wearing my glasses. <laughs> Same. <laughs> September 3rd, 1994. 12.44am. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably it was the furnace. September 9th, 1994. 11 p.m. Poured milk from the carton in the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure that I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Who likes the little ghost with the milk? Ghost milk. Um, ghost milk. So, does that... Do you milk that from ghosts? Or is that like... Ghost milk happens when milk sours and it dies. Interesting. Okay. 19, October 1994, Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We could build a protective pillow fort. October 22nd, 19, 1994, 11 to 12 a.m. 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as our medium, as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol the premises, recording any sights of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic, probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Aww. Ooh, note. Hey, Sam, you're asking what my... Um, okay, ribbons meant. This is a handy guide. Um, orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team, the army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. I am a born adventurous and no porters can hold me. The army recognizes this. So it didn't think... If you so you didn't think I was cool before, and now you do. Okay, let's be real. Sam is super gay for Elon. You're aware of it. Ooh. Katie Katie. Oh my Katie boxes. Come on, stay. Off we go. I read that already. Ooh. Interesting colors. Okay. Seriously though, how rich are we? Like, I don't think a forestry job pays that much, and neither does, like, although, fuck, I forgot, the, that guy left the house to us, so, that would probably change that, but you still have to pay for upkeep, that would be such a pain in the ass, it'd be so much cheaper to just sell and get, like, some stuff back. Oh. Sneaky. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay. Dee 
beep, beep. There was a there was a tape recorder right here. Cassette player. Interesting. Sand and form. Um, evaluation. Um, exemplar. My mom's exemplary and everything. Congratulations. I still don't think you. Although this is back then, money was worth more. Let's see. Halloween show. The misfits. They're awesome. Don't forget your costume. Um, see you there. Okay. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like Correct. when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. Correct. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just Aww. so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think Aww. she could tell. Aww, that's so cute. Whoa, fancy sewing table. Holy shit. That's... Whoa. Ooh, lid. Goodbye. What is that? I saved her from the raging flames and then things really got heated up. <laughs> oh my god. Goodbye. Healthy choices for healthy life. Nope. Ooh. Body, holy crap, there was no library and I noticed something in the, the corner. I found a secret passage. It had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. So, mom and dad's are in the closet. Oh my god, I have to see this. We're skipping. Okay. So. Okay, okay. Well, I'll go back over there later. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's very much my aesthetic. Oh, <gasps> little witch hat. I want to put the witch hat on. Okay, so that's Lonnie. That's Sam. Okay. Because we all know it, boys. Pirates are gay. And it's totally true. I know it, the chick who plays Elizabeth Swan definitely made me gay. Here we go. <coughs> Sam's darkroom. Do not enter. If the lights are red. If red lights are on. Um. Sorry, man. Locked. Ugh. Okay. Let's go, Staggy. We're gonna go explore that secret room. Um, wait. Yeah, I was right. That is Mom and Dad's room. Okay. Da 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 da. Let's go find. I was wondering why this was so empty and there was nothing in here. Okay, how do I. Oh! Ooh, ooh, cobwebs. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I'm sorry, Staggy. Whoa. Whoa. Lady. Wait. Okay, go to Hunter Sam. Secret investigations. Hidden compartments found three. Okay. Um, across the hall from my room. So this is the one that leads to the library. And then there's, okay. Let's see. There and there. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll take a peek. Is there any more lights? Don't like it. I don't like that. Oh, that's a lamp. I thought that was... Oh! I thought that was a person. Okay, we're going back up. I'm kind of scared. Is there anything else over here? I don't know. Can I get a flashlight? Up we go, Staggy. Staggy, Staggy. I want you facing me. I'm scared. Wait. 
better facing. Eh. Eh. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Next was... Okay, so we're... Here. So I'll check the one... <coughs> I'll check the one over by the guest room. Is it this one? That one. But Nope, that's... That way. Nope, I don't do those. Don't trust those. To come back. Ooh, I don't like this. I'm scared. Please tell me this isn't actually a horror game. Um, okay. Half of Sam's Locker Combination. Okay. So let's see. The next one was... Okay, so I got Dad's off... No, Dad's office is downstairs. So we'll check... We'll check a couple other places. Okay. Off we go! That looks like a panel to me, personally, but okay, it's nothing. Okay, Steggy. Off we go! Off we go! Do, 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 do. Where is it? Wait, wrong button. Okay, so... Ah. There should be one... Sorry, Steggy. Right there. Bye! Private, do not read. You know what I'm gonna do? Read it. Oh! Yay! Fascinating. Okay. 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 Let's see. Wait. What's my backpack? Um. Ah! Items. Okay, so I am Caitlyn. So, 051. Okay, 051. 051. 051. 051. Up the stairs we go. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. do, do. And we set Steggy on the bed. I love you, Steggy. Okay, 0. 5. 0. Wait, shit. 1. Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. No. It felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had me scared. Don't do that. Also, apparently, Sam was a shoplifter. Okay. Also, don't smoke. Smoking's bad. You're gonna get cancer. Ah! You took your dad's magazines. The greatest UFO cover up. <laughs> Alrighty. so far it's so cute i still have no idea if i'm s like how the fuck i'm listening to her like dialogue sam's dialogue i guess since you know i'm caitlin but you know what it's fine i'm just going to make the assumption that i am telepathic as fuck i'm gonna go over here wait i got a key find it. We'll deal with that later. 
that. Bye! At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. Aww. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. Okay, so this is I really me. hope that I she meant what I think she did. I felt like a Aww. shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Oh, so I'm gonna get murdered down here. Blue ring binder. Read note. Dear Samantha, I would like to coordinate thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed that thought. Wait, the what? The what? The hauntful potatoes. And also, it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty fun. Funny. How impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confident, Lonnie D. A fancy man. Quite. Dear Miss De Soto, allow me to take the opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate. Following the aforementioned meal with my parents, your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and, re and a refined air. Let's do it again sometime in the next year, shall we? Indeed. Miss Madame... No, wait. Madame Samantha Greenbrier Esquire. Once again, still has nice. Ooh. Oh, chips. I don't eat chips. Bleh. What was I saying? She still has nicer writing than me currently. Ooh. Aww. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around. Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Aww. Secret dating? No. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Aww. That's so cute. Oh, she had to re <laughs> redo this one. Wait, so I am Sam. Nope, it said Caitlyn. Never mind. Not, not Sam. What's this say? Oh, I used to have one of these. It was like, had like a different Bible verse on it. And my parents were like, ah, oh, yes, this is this is your Christian name, here you go. And I was like, okay. And then I never kept it because I grew out of Christianity as I got older. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's power. What's this? Um, oh, it's a water thingy, I think. No, is that energy? Huh, okay. <coughs> Samantha, I'm pleased to inform you. Oh, she got into the writing school. Good for her. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? 
I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Aww. No, don't say that. I'm going to cry. Oh, no, no. That's so cute. <laughs> okay, I need Stanky again. Where did I put him? Uh. Peggy can sit in the chair. Oh, this wait. Oh, wait. Um, dear Terrence, thank you for standing. Oh. Okay, I don't care about that. It's not interesting to this current the narrative I want. Oh, citizenship. Interesting. I can't turn that on. Okay, Staggy, we're gonna go that way. Come here! Oh, you fell off the chair! No! Okay. Put you over there. Grab that. What's that? What is that? Uh, pharmacy. Oh, it's from that Oscar guy. I mean, I'm probably skipping a bunch of story, but I'm not involved. I care more about, like, the shit that's going on with Sam and stuff. Uh, change his hands. I don't care. Not important to the narrative I want. Oh. We'll take that first. Hey, Sam, I'm writing you t to you from Malt uh, Noma Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing to you this at the gift shop. Oh, shit. Here you come. That's so cute. Yeah, I'm going to put that back. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Aww. Okay, so by the sounds of it, sounds like. Oh. Oh, what is this? Sounds like Sam's leaving memoirs around. And, well, obviously, but like, a zine. A zine. I don't know how it's pronounced. Okay. <coughs> He's cute. Comic book. Wonder Outlaws. <laughs> okay. Let's read that. Um. She defaced Prabhat. So, DeSanto defaced property with profanity and defaced her own locker in retaliation to his another student for doing the same to use in material. As for your complaint, no other student has been punished for this part of the incident. No other guilty party. Wow. So, let the, si the situation drop. Because, be which I believe you claim began this whole incident in the first place. Wow. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. 
but I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Oh, that's so, like, kind of cute, but also, like, that kind of makes sense why. Oh, that's... That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but... Oh! Oh, this is from what stuff was sh she was saying earlier. Oh. So I'm guessing I have like a little a notepad or something that I just had. Okay. Oh, I want that. Where? Wait, where? I know there's going to be a tape. Where is it? There it is. So this is. These tapes have been from her band by the same sounds of it. Okay. So promotion for my mother. I do not know how to speak Spanish. Ah, uh, Spaniel! Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She har She's hardly any ar ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then she, when she is home she takes it out on you. Like, you're a member, not a member of the family. She knows you won't call her on it and I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. I know she's just jealous of her cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian. Oh, my mom too. And her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her internal punishment for my in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? Well, already. Roth. Okay. Roth. Come on, Staggy. Staggy. Oh. Um. Oh, it's from. Uh, that's. Oh, wait. That's the people who do like the September song, right? Twenty first of September, I think. Do do do. Um. The skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. Americans. No, American. I, lo I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you. Love, Lonnie. P.S. Treasure it always. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Okay, put that on the dining table. Why do you need to have a dining table? There's only three people. Another purse. How many purses do you need? Oh, what's that? I thought that was a thing. Okay, apparently not. Pamphlet. Bye. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for EWF on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want, doesn't want to. So, there. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket, and I thought you might be interested more in brush, in clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rich. Is my mom having an affair? Ooh. Is there anything in here? Is it just, looks like there's nothing in there. Sign. Oh! What's that? I saw that earlier. Open. Open? Is that stuck? There we go. Um, 
Oh, this I've never seen a pink slip before. Principal's office. Uh, distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents out of school. Suspension. Okay, so I'm guessing it's from that. Sam, since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I have been putting this are putting this in writing so we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for any time except going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't happen. have to happen again. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she <laughs> Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me well Aww. jokes on them because they're in for one very long phase <laughs> oh that's so rough oh i'm sad hi mom dad and sam the vatican is weird as you can see the catholic church is still a lot of money left over from the middle ages gotten to see all the art including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo Donatello and the rest of the Ninja Turtles mom we have to come back together I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history of everything also Sam they have various relics and pieces of important dead people so you should probably come too next stop Barcelona calm, dad, da calm down dad I probably won't get gored by a bowl I probably Love Katie. No God. God. No butts in heaven. Bye. Oh, uh, actually, this reminds me of kind of a little bit of when I came out to my parents. Um. It. And I actually only came out to them a couple of months ago. Um. It was very, very sudden. It was. My mom said something, and I was like you know what, you do know I'm gay, right? And, uh, it was not a good time. It's not awful, but... Congratulations, Janice Greenbrier, regional director, and I say congratulations, because come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this. This little outing you had with your favorite our own, with our favorite flannel clad hunk. What a blast! But you sound like you're reading a lot into an a moment. Uh, a moment? Oh, innocent. A lot into an innocent night out. You're one, there's. You're. Sure? There's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend, and you're not sure they're s and you're not sure they're not serious. Okay, I have to figure out when we'll all be each other. Well, I'll see each other again. I, next in person. Enough of the letters. I owe you a congratulations, Margarita, boss lady. Soon. Okay, so yeah, my mom's having an affair. Don't give up on this, honey. Okay. <laughs> I made the decision for my dad. He's trash. Come on, it's the game. Holy shit. This house is so large. Okay. Where's the light switch? Okay, I came there. 
do they do? Where's the light switch? Why is there light? Oh, there it is. Wait, it's button? Oh. Still doesn't get those ones up though. You know what? It's fine. And the kitchen. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were on an adventure, but they went to the the what? The we're gonna say darkest part of the woods, and it got nope the deepest deepest part of the woods, and it got dark. Um, Danny said, "Are you go? Are you scared?" So Samantha said, "No. Are you?" They laughed and went into the bad part. Oh, it said bad. Bad part, and then they went to a part that was never there before, and there was a ship, a pirate ship, and an ocean. Samantha said, it will be the captain. I'll be the captain, and you can be the first mate. Daniel said, I, I, I captain. And they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away. <coughs> okay, so they were friends at first, and then as she, so she's always had this pirate thing going on, and then as she got older, her first mate stopped being Daniel and started turning into Lonnie. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it, and then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Stop with your book! It's not going anywhere! Well, okay, I guess you gotta keep trying, but like... Is that what I'm getting out of this?
any other creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimensions is what you call a special publishing house. We traffic the weird, the head of its time, the lies by a small but dedicated group of plugged-in bibliophiles types out there, mass market shunning visionary. Expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ, or zombie-like, um, timeless works such as Ennis, Message of the S Message of the Snake Man, It's Inside Me, by Jens Keller, and Emil's e Emil Krieger's off-band Venezuelan flesh traders. But since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Lawn Branch, NJ, I don't, New Jersey? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not American. We've been trying to track down an, the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into the 20th century civilization anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dark, the tick swinging heroes that modern suburban American America wants, but John Russell, a mild mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It's our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so, I, so I've typed plenty. What do you want? What do we want from you? Since your permission to reprint the work, since we we want your permission to reprint the book since you've your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward for the books to appear in a brand new edition of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Prior. To be produced by Unknown Dimensions for as a limited run and marketed directly at, to our highest discerning customer base. Whoops, that's my phone. Who's that? Sorry, one sec. Okay. Nothing important, it's just steaming garbage. Okay. To produce by unknown dimensions as a limited run marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer a portion of the proceeds contact a follower, assuming you're it is interested in coming along with us on this weird odyssey. We look for we look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work screaming back into the swelling sweat sweating palms of unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off. Okay. That was a mouthful. And saying that, I'm just gonna take a drink. One sec. for an hour and 45 minutes basically and I haven't had a drink since like right before I started so and this is a lot more talking than I'm used to so that might ooh. Sam your mother and I will be away for a long week in celebrating our anniversary June 3rd to 7th we will be camping out in the gorge but we will give you a call on the way home sorry the kitchen is still mid renovation never trust a contractor forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone be good so i'm assuming that's this weekend that's why they're not here because i don't remember the front story and then sam was like fuck this shit i'm out which fair Ask me about clown combos? Okay. Wait, they didn't make you have to give that back to the company? What the fuck? That is... Oh, don't like that. Okay, and her car is gone, so I'm assuming- Yeah, I'm assuming she left after. Because I'm assuming the whole gay thing... Sh parents denying it happened... I'm assuming before I came home. Oh, that's depressing. Wait, this looks familiar. Nope. Barcelona. Mom, Dad, 
and Sam. I have had a wonderful time on the be beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like the gaudy archetype. It is from it is from a strange alien world. I'm headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm running low on money, so I will have to look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It would be good to be home. Boop. Wait. Oh, yeah, it is in the U.S. I don't know why. I thought it said Canada for a second. It says country, so... Oh. Girl Scout. Fucked out. It's Girl Scout. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. Oh. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. That's so cute. But I can't. So where she's going. Oh. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, oh. I don't think you can anymore. No. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm crying. Okay, not like fall crying, but I'm crying. It's so sad. Like I know that shit happens, but I'm sad. Laundry room. Turn on the lights. Oh. Oh, please tell me I can still get steggy. Steggy! Oh, thank god. And think it through. Wait. I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was where I'd end up. If I... I never thought of it any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base done with college and you're fam a famous writer. I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed. Things will be different and we can be together until then. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! It's free now! Holy shit! Plants! 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 Oh, uh, it's so sad. Read the letter. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you for sen sen sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said Unknown Dimension isn't the business of printing new material, but this has revived interest in my work. It brought on a wave of inspiration resulting in a manuscript that completed John Russell's journey which I think you will find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that the dim dimensioned readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for unknown dimension to pursue. At the very least, I'm grateful that John Russell's adventure didn't come to an end when I thought they had. My thanks in regard. Oh, so my dad didn't just keep writing and writing and writing and nobody liked it. Okay, I guess it's different because it is the, I'm, I'm kind of putting personal experiences when I said he should just stop. It was it wasn't even about writing, it was just about something else that I don't really want to get into right now. Goodbye. Pamphlet. Couples counseling retreat. Yeah, because my mom's cheating and they booked. Yeah, because didn't they say they were kind of a couple's retreat? Um, bye. Bye. I'm messing up your workstation. 
hardcover copy. It's been only it's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved a president's life, and he practically forgot the days of the future, of danger and excitement, the days where he mattered. So when the familiar rip in time opens in front of him, and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No, the life you saved is not. Okay, you know what? That sounds a little bit interesting. Understairs. Fire. Midnight, June 5th, final preparation. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. No. I was so exhausted. Oh. I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up and I was finally alone. No! Oh no! Is it okay? Where do I get the key for that? Is it down there? Did I miss it? I just. No! This is so sad. I thought this was gonna be happy. Also, where the fuck is the key? I wanna go in there. Maybe it's down here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Possession and exorcism? No, thank you. Who the fuck? Oh, is this Oscar? Grab name tag. Yep. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh. There we go. Beautiful. The sunset light <gasps> I love in this it. house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Oh, please don't let this turn out how I'm expecting. I'm really scared. Wait, no, no! Staggy! Staggy! Where did he go? No! Staggy! I was trying to, I thought these were shelves, not... Staggy! Oh, we gotta go it alone? Oh! On it. Oh my god. I can't see. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. Oh, She'd been on the bus to basic. And earlier. she said she couldn't. She couldn't think of anything but me. And us. And that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being apart and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Oh my god. 
Oh, this is, yeah. Oh, thank God. I thought I was gonna have to find a body here and I was gonna be really sad. And by really sad, I mean, oh. Staggy. Wait, is that? No, it's not moving. It's just me being twitchy. Letters to Katie. Oh, yeah. Katie, so that's how I'm so working. sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal getting and you think back. That you'll understand why I had to do what I did. Oh, and that you won't be sad. Like and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Oh my gosh. Love, Sam. Okay, well, I'm going to end the stream here, I think, since I only planned on doing this game. So, thank you for joining me, and I will see about streaming maybe next Saturday. Anyways, have a great rest of your day!